Good evening, YouTubers out there. How you doing? Uh, I wanted to follow up with part four of our Monoprice Maker Ultimate unboxing and review. Let's see what the tornado is doing. It's printing. I wonder what the tornado is printing. Well, it's printing a drive block for the Monoprice. Um, and the drive block is to allow the mono price to print flexible filament. I want to dabble and play with flexible filament. I haven't done any yet. So this drive block allows it to grip it and you don't have issues for that printer. So, on to the mono price. Notice it's down. The LEDs are shut off. It's apart. The drive block goes underneath these levers that I'm printing over there. But it's a part because the nozzle's plugged completely. I don't have a bit or anything to clean it with. Don't happen to have acetone on hand, but it's going to take days anyway. Monoprice didn't provide an extra. Um, unfortunately, I bought extras for the Tebow Tornado because it had dropped a nozzle when I first, pretty much when I took it out of the box, it had a partially clogged nozzle that I ended up replacing with the spare that came in the box. However, the Monoprice didn't come with a spare, and I don't have one. And this is a total clog. Um, I ended up cleaning out the extruder because there was some plastic from being stripped on the gears where it was trying its hardest to jam the plastic down in here but the nozzle wasn't having it. I ordered new nozzles. They're due to arrive Wednesday. So the new toy is down until Wednesday. This is what I did for the uh, vibration. It's a ginormous mouse pad. Real thick, heavy, dense. It'll do a great job for vibration absorption. Uh, a little frustrated, obviously. Made one print, the uh, Marvin that I showed you guys earlier. And in beginning the second print, it laid the first layer down. And when it started to do the infill, it started doing real brittle, under extruding the infill. I would say. It was still trying to go, but it was under extruding bad. So it was a partial clog that turned into a full clog. And I guess shame on me for not having a tool to clean it with. Uh, I could run to Ace and buy acetone, but it's not really worth it, again, because it's going to take two, three days for that to work. If I'm lucky. Um, without having something at the point four millimeter to clear it out the rest of the way from the opposite end with so anyhow i wanted to give an update so i won't be posting any more videos um part four is going to be it for a bit i'll do an update once i have a nozzle and get it back in action and print again thanks everybody for tuning in have a great christmas 